What's up guys, this is Miles Bowman. I play LSM for the Michigan Wolverines and today I'm gonna to show you how to string a Maverick tank. All right, so for today's video, all you're gonna need is your Maverick tank. You're gonna need three sidewall strings. You're gonna need two shooting strings, one nylon to go over the shooters and one bottom lace to tie it all together. All right, to start off our uh, Maverick tank, you're gonna need your mesh. And like I said, I'm using String King 4S. So what you're gonna first do is uh, stretch apart the mesh and make sure you find which side is the uh, smooth side, which is gonna be this side facing you guys, and then the rough side, and the rough side's facing me. So now I'm gonna flip it around so y'all can better see. And um, you're gonna wanna fold your mesh between the nine and the 10 diamond row. So um, this top row, is your nine diamond row and the one directly below that is your 10 diamond row so you're going to fold right in between which will result in you creasing it right where my fingers and right in between my my two index fingers so i'll do it and i'll show you um, it's pretty simple once you've done it once uh, it just takes a couple times to get the hang of all right, so now that I've folded it, might be tough to pick up on camera just because the mesh is white, um, but should look something like this. And um, at once you've done that, you're gonna wanna take your one of your sidewall strings and you don't wanna knot it, you don't wanna do anything to it, just have it as is. And all you're gonna do is you're going to locate the middle two um, sections. So you want to string through the front around this piece right here, back through to the front, and then back to the back. So go in front of this one, and then go behind this, and then back to the front. So I'll do that and show you what it looks like. Um, make sure I'm on the right one. One, two, three. So through the front. Through the, yeah, through the front to the back and then from the back to the front and then back through to the back and then back through to the front. Okay. And Hopefully, oh, okay, I messed that up. Just make sure you get it right in the middle or else it won't work. So I'm gonna take that one out. Okay, so once you found the middle and you put your string through, it's gonna look something like this. Okay, so all you did is you found the middle two um, where the back of the mesh pushes through and you're gonna go from front to back, back to front, and then you're gonna cross over this side, pushing this side of the mesh towards the back. And you're gonna go from front to back, back to front, and um, do the same thing one last time and you'll have a, um, something that looks kind of like this. I'll pull it down, that might help you be able to see it better. So basically what it's doing is it's pushing the back of the mesh towards the front. Okay. So now, once you've done that, you're gonna take your head and you're gonna use the middle two holes. So I'll flip it around and you're gonna take your mesh, making sure that this flap is facing towards you or however you want. Just make sure the flap's on the back side of the head. Um, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your two strings. Let me look at this head just to make sure I explain it right. And you're gonna go through the front with each one. So take your head just like this, take your string through this hole, take your other string through this hole, Okay, so that the mesh hangs. Um, I like to make sure that I've got about the same amount of string coming through both holes so that 
you can get to uh, the end on both sides. And then you're going to take the both ends and you're going to bring them from the back side through the front. Okay. And once you've done that, you can pull straight down and I'll uh, lock mine tight so that I can explain the next step. So you're going to pull it through, you're going to pull it down and then cinch it just like this. And uh, I make sure that my knots are real tight. And then once you have something that looks like this, we're looking at this side where my fingers are, you're going to take your string and you're going to go through to the back and then back through this hole. Sorry, my fingers covering it. And then once you come, so you go from front to back through the hole and then you pull it down through the loop that you made. And once you do that, you lock it tight and you should have something that looks like that. Okay. Now we're going to just repeat this step to the other side, making sure that your knots are tight. So go from going from front to the back, push it through the hole and then pull this string through that hole and down. Okay, and that'll make. All right, now that you have your two knots in and your mesh is totally connected to the head now, um, you're gonna take your string and just like you did when you first uh, ran, when you first threaded the uh, string through the mesh, you're gonna take your string, you will move it out of the way and you're gonna make sure your mesh is folded still in between the nine and 10 diamond row. All right, now you're gonna take your mesh and your string and you're gonna weave the string through from front to back, making sure that this piece right here is in front of the string and you're gonna push the string through on the other side Pull it tight. So now the not the the uh, sidewall is pushing the mesh from the back towards the front. All right. So now what you'll do is you'll repeat the uh, knot that you did to attach the mesh to the head the first time. So you're going to start by going through the front, back through this hole that you made. Pull it tight, making sure that your knot is going to stay tight. Okay, I like to use my finger to hold that knot down. So hold in place. And now you're going to take the string and you're going to run it back through the back side of the hole. And here, pull it through to the front and then take the tip, trying to keep the excess string on the front side of the head. And you're going to take the tip and you're going to run it through the back side to the front and then back through the loop that you created, pulling it tight. And you'll have another one of those top string knots, just like that. Okay. And, uh, after that, you'll just repeat that same step until you get to the end and I'll explain what to do then. All right, once your head looks like this, you're probably wondering what the next step is. So what you're gonna do now is in, instead of taking the uh, string and running it through the same way, you're gonna take your string, making sure your mesh is still folded between the nine and 10 diamond row. And you're gonna run the string from front to back and then you're gonna skip that same one that you would usually come through on right here by my finger. And you're gonna actually come through on this hole. Pull it through. So next, you're gonna take your string, pulling the mesh tight to the side of the head. And you're gonna take the string and you're gonna run it 
through this first top hole. So poke it through, pull it tight, make sure it's nice and um, unknotted because sometimes the last little bit of string gets a little knotted once you pull it through. And it should look something like that. So after you've done that, you're gonna take the string, pull it, pulling it tight. You're gonna wrap it through this little section of mesh right where that one went through. So you're gonna pull it tight, bring it from the back through to the front, and you're gonna run that string back through that sidewall hole. And when you do this, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the mesh is not pulled to the side or the front of the head. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that the mesh is safely and securely tightened down to the back wall of the head. And I'll show you what this will look like. And uh, this can be tough to do because you're pulling the, the mesh real tight and it likes to go towards the front. So just bear with me for one moment. Okay. So once you've done that and your strings through, you're going to take the last little bit you have and you're going to just tie your standard knot, wrapping it around and going through the hole you've created. And you're going to push that knot close to the plastic and pull the string through, making it something like that. Okay, and now the last step you're going to do is you're going to pull the string so that the knot comes away from the head. And you're going to take it, loop it around the bottom of it, do the same exact knot and uh, that'll help pull your string nice and tight so you should have a nice even top string and now my favorite part you're gonna take the mesh from the bottom and you're gonna pull it and it's gonna look just like this all right so now we're gonna start our sidewall um, I've got my head here that I'm copying. I'm going to have it close by for reference. So if I look away, that's what I'm looking at. All right. So first you're going to start by going through the third sidewall hole. So that's one, two, three. You're going to start on that third hole and you're going to tie off and go through this first 10 diamond row, pulling it tight to the, to the side of the head. Once you've done that and you put the string back through the mesh to the back side, you're gonna take it and you're gonna go to the front of, you're gonna pull all your string to the front of the head and you're gonna push this string through the front side of the second 10 diamond row. Pulling it through, you should have that. All right, now once you've done that, you're gonna skip one hole and you're going to do an interlock, but to the inside of the head. So you're gonna skip that hole. You're gonna take your string and you're gonna go from, you're gonna go through the inside of the head, pulling it tight. Then you're gonna go through this hole that you've made. So from back to front, pulling that hole tight. So I like to tighten it down before I go back through the mesh to finish this knot or the interlock. And now you're going to take it. It should look something like this. And you're going to run the string through the back of the mesh to the front, pulling it through and down. And the finished product will look just like this. So it's an interlock on the inside of the head. So we're gonna actually copy this step for the next few. So you're gonna start by going through the front of the mesh to the back, just like so. 
and then you're gonna take your string and you're gonna go through the inside of the head on this hole. So you're skipping one, pulling it through. I'm gonna go from the back side through to the front, pulling it through, tightening it down. And then you're gonna go taking your string right back from the back through this hole, Tim Diamond Row, through to the front, pulling it through and down, ready to start your next interlock. So now you have two that should look exactly the same. Here's a close up. So once you've done those two, your next is gonna be just the same. So you're skipping a hole, going through the front of the mesh to the back, and then you're gonna go skip one, then through the front of the head to the back, going through the hole you've created with the string, pulling it tight. It's the same as we did for the first two. Nice and tight. You're gonna bring it from back to front, pulling it through and securing the mesh to the head, just like so. Once you've done this, you should have three interlocks to the inside of the head that look exactly the same. So here, once again, trying to find the best way to show this is what it should look like. Maybe this will help. Okay. So once you've done three of those, your next one is going to be the same. <clears throat> but for this one, you're going to take the string and instead of wrapping around the top part of the head, you're going to wrap through this bottom rail. So let me, let me do one to show. So same thing, skip a hole, running the uh, string through the front to the back, skipping a hole, go through that one, pulling it through. Okay, so you should have this same thing that you've had each time. And once you've done that, see what I mean by wrapping around this side instead of the top? So you're wrapping through the inside instead of the top, or the back, I guess, of the head. So I'll give you a preview of what it looks like. So pushing it through, you're gonna wrap around and poke it through this part of the head. Coming through the front of the head now and towards the back through this hole that you've made, pulling it through, now locking it down. So it's almost a reverse of what you've been doing. Um, typically, the String looks like this, so it's going down and around that way. And now for this one, it looks more like a traditional interlock. So once you've done that, you're gonna take that same string and run it through that 10 diamond row from back to front, pulling it tight, just like so. Okay, and now once you've done that, all you're gonna do next is you're gonna do a one and you're gonna be going through the back of the mesh to the front. So 
you're gonna take your string, you're gonna open up that 10 diamond row that's the next one down, and you're gonna go through the back to the front, pulling it tight, or pulling it through. And now what you're gonna need to do is pull this so that the mesh bunches next to that interlock that you've created and pull your string tight so that your knot stays. So it should look just like that. So you have an interlock to the inside and then you have a one. And so after you've done that, you're gonna take your string and you should do the same exact thing. So take your string, you can go through the front of the mesh, just, if you, just as you've done for all the rest of them. Once you've made your pass through the front of the mesh, making sure that you're holding that interlock that you've done down tight. You're gonna go back through that next hole, so you're not skipping this time, through this hole, pulling it through, going through this part of the head, pulling it through and going through this hole that you've created right there. So you're gonna take it from the front of the head, through the hole, sorry, through the hole to the back, pulling it through and tight. Now you should have another interlock. And don't forget that you pull that same string from the back of the mesh through to the front, just as you did for the last one, pulling it tight. You should have something that looks like so. Yeah. Okay, so now, as you see, we're just gonna repeat that same step And instead of interlocking through the mesh again, you're just gonna interlock to the side of the head. So you're gonna go through the mesh, interlock to the side of the head, and I'll show you just how to do that. So. Double check. All right, so next you're gonna go through the back of the mesh, just like you did for your ones, pulling it through to the front, Pull the mesh tight or stretch the mesh out so that it bunches on the interlock and you're going to go and you're going to do the same interlock you do but instead of going back through the mesh at the end so you're just going to have a one so you're going to take your string you're going to go through the inside of the head you're not skipping pulling it tight and next you're going to go through this next slot down pulling it through and then finding that hole that you made in the in the in the string <laughs> bringing it through from the front to the back pulling it and now locking it down with a tight interlock you should have a one without an interlock you're just interlocking the string to the head just like this All right, so the rest of it's pretty simple. All you're gonna be doing is another one, but this time you're going through the back of the mesh to the front. So find that next 10 diamond row, go through the back into the front, pulling it through, making sure that mesh doesn't bunch and you're gonna go through the inside of the head, skipping a hole through this one, pulling it through, and you're gonna go back through that same strut that you did for the last one, pulling it through, and you're gonna just do your same interlock to the head without, without interlocking it to the mesh. So pulling it through around that strut, finding that hole you just made and pulling it through the hole just like that pulling it tight, making sure your knot stays. All 
And to finish this one out, all you're gonna do is take the remaining string and you're gonna go through from the inside of the head through that next hole, the second to last, pulling it through. And you're just gonna tie it down and knot it just like so. Just your basic knot that you did at the start of the sidewall. And to make sure it's tight, pull it and do your second knot just around the bottom. And once you're finished, this is what your sidewall should look like. That's outside. Here's the inside. I'm gonna do the other side and then I'll catch back up with y'all for the bottom string. All right, so to finish out the head, once you've done both the side walls, you should have, this should be where you're at about now. So next, you're gonna take one of your shooting strings, your, sh your bottom lace, whatever you've got. Um, you can even use a nylon if you'd like. Um, it's all just kind of preference. And let me double check with this one so I make sure I do it right. One, two. Okay, so you're gonna take your head and you're gonna take your bottom lace and you're gonna push the bottom lace through one of these four holes, you're gonna push it through the farthest to the, to the side of the head. So once you push it through, sometimes it's easier to go through the inside of the head to the back, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so once you've got it through, pull, um, pull a little bit through, you're gonna have to even it out once you finish. Um, and you'll take this end that the one that goes through to the inside and you're going to take the mesh and look where the last time the string went through the head, which is right here. Okay. So you're going to count. I'll show you with this head. So the last time the string goes through this head is right here. So counting this hole where the string goes through is one. That's one. There's two rows three rows and on the fourth row you're gonna go in so take your string count one two three here's your fourth row and it's the second hole in so one two in You're gonna go through the front of the mesh, out into the back. Okay. Next, looking at this head for reference, you're gonna go diagonally up from that hole. You're gonna go up one and to the left through this one. So to make it easier on you, count from this last hole the string goes through, one, two, third row. And you're gonna go through the back on that third row, you're gonna count one, two, three in, and you're gonna push it through the back to the front. Okay, now next up, once you've gone through that hole, all you're gonna do is you're gonna weave through the mesh. So you're gonna you're gonna go. So you went through the front, or sorry, through the back to the front. Now you're gonna go from the front to the back, from the back to the front, front to the back, back to the front, and then you're gonna drop back down to that fourth row, second hole in. So I'll go nice and slow for you. So from the 
front of the head through to the back, pulling it through from the back of the head through to the front, pulling it through from the front of the head through into the back side. Same thing, back to the front. And you're gonna do that on that row until you have two holes left, just like this side that you started on, on that third row down from the last hole that the string goes through. So here I've got one, two, three holes left. So I'm gonna go through the front to the back, pulling it through. <laughs> so now you're back to the back side of the mesh, looking at something similar to that. So what you're gonna do to finish this up, you're gonna take this string, keeping it flat just for aesthetic purposes, and you're gonna go counting down from that last hole, the mesh that the string goes through the mesh, you're gonna count one, two down, three down, four. And you're gonna go through this hole, two in on the fourth row. It's diagonally down to the right from where you are right now. Once you go through that hole, pull it through just as you have, Take your string and you're gonna go through this last one on the bottom opposite of the one that you went in. Push it through from the front of the head to the back, pulling the string through and I like to even it out. It doesn't really matter because you're going to cut the string anyways, but pulling it through, pulling them tight, and then you can kind of adjust this as needed. And uh, you're just going to do your basic knots as you did with the sidewall, pulling them tight to the head so that, uh, your pocket stays at a legal depth. Do it for both sides. And uh, this might be something that you're gonna have to undo. So make sure you don't pull the knots um, so that they're too tight for you to undo. Um, Cause you're probably gonna have to play around with the depth as you break it in and just in case you didn't make it deep enough in the first place. So once you've completed that, your bottom string should look just like so. All right, to finish out this head, we're gonna do our shooters and our nylon. So what we're gonna do is two shooters, one nylon. It's gonna look just like this. The shooting strings start on the fifth row. So take your shooter, take your head, count one, two, three, four, five. Five rows down, it's a 10 diamond row. Take your shooter, go from front to back, go through and wrap it around the side of the head, just like when you were um, stringing it. And it should look just like that. It's just wrapped around. Um, try your best to make the uh, each side of the string about equal, because you're gonna be, you're gonna need all the length you can get. And so once you've done that, it should look just like this crossed around. And so to do your shooting string, it's pretty simple. You're just gonna take the inside, I like to do the inside first, and making sure you're staying on, a same, on the same row that you started on, you're gonna make a line. You're gonna go through the front of the mesh, making sure that the shooting string stays nice and flat so that the shooting strings are effective. And you're gonna go through the front of the mesh just like that covering up that section of the mesh. And then you're gonna take the string that you start, you had on the back of the mesh, 
and you're gonna go either on top or underneath. I like to go over the top. Pulling it through, covering that back side of the mesh. So now that first part of that row is totally covered by your shooting string. So one more time, the front, the, the string on the front of the mesh, you're gonna go through from front to back keeping your string nice and flat. And now flipping it around that other side, you're gonna take this string and go from back to front on the top of the mesh or on the top side of that other string, making sure you cover that part of the mesh completely while also keeping your string nice and flat. So now that you've done two, it should look just like that. And so I'm gonna quickly do the rest of this one. All right, and as you near the other side of the head, you're probably gonna be wondering, you know, how you're gonna secure it down. So you're just gonna finish it out all the way through to the other side. I'll show you in just a moment. So that your head's gonna be looking just like this. It looks flat for now, just bear with me. It'll start to look better in a moment. See how your strings hang, one's on the inside and one is on the outside. All you're gonna do is take the inside string and throw it right through this little hole in the sidewall. That way they're both close to each other and you're able to tie your knot and finish it off. I like to cross over twice with just a standard knot and uh, looks just like that once you finish. So I'm gonna pause the camera and quickly do the one below it. All you're gonna do is just drop down do the same exact thing on this row. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so now we're going to do our nylon so you're gonna go the third row down from the top. I like to lock the nylon in place using the sidewall holes. So we actually skipped a hole towards the top, second one down. So I'm gonna pop that string right through. And then I'm gonna string it just like I did the shooting strings. So going through that third row, front to back, back to front, front to back, back to front, front to back, and back to front, front to back, and back to front, making sure you're going over um, through this, like the same way. I, by that, I mean, making sure that you're going with the uh, back string, you're going, or sorry, the string that is on the back side, making sure you're always going over the top side and through to the front, and the other one, you're always going through the bottom. Um, I mean, the other, the, the inside string doesn't really matter just because the back string's not in yet. But anyways, you're just stringing it just like the shooter strings and uh, it'll go real quick and I'll quickly finish this up. Making sure you go right back through that second hole in the sidewall. And this one is done like this. So all you're gonna do after you pop one of the strings through that hole, you're just gonna tie your knot. Like I said, double, just two knots stacked on top of each other. 
makes it easy for adjustments and whatnot. Pound the pocket in. And you're just about ready to go. So you're looking at this. Might not be the prettiest, but it's a weapon. See you guys in a few. We're gonna burn the strings and I'll show you the finished product. All right, so here's our finished product. Your fully strung Maverick tank. Here's your pocket. Here's your nice, pretty tight channel for a head this wide. And then there's your shooting string set up. Just three straights, two shooters, one nylon. Pretty simple, a um, little complicated at the same time, uh, stringing to the inside. Uh, but once you get the hang of it, it's super easy, it goes really fast, and I actually prefer it than uh, stringing the regular way. So that was it. My name is Miles Bullman, number four LSM for Michigan Lacrosse, and I hope you enjoy your new Maverick tank, and uh, 